Hi guys, welcome to Numbers. There are exactly 75 days left for the most beautiful exam in the country, CAT. Okay. So what we at Numbers thought was we'll make one video every day and we'll give out 75 videos to you guys so that it can help you in all ways possible. The videos will be comprising of the following things. Okay. So let's start with that. Now, for the people who haven't started yet, we'll talk about how do you start now in a few videos of ours. For people who already have started, okay, we'll give you the roadmap ahead. So for both of these kinds, we'll probably have scheduled videos where we'll tell you what to do in which week and how do you exactly proceed. Then we'll have strategies. Now keep in mind, mocks are the most important. You must start attempting mocks immediately. Okay, you must write one mock per week. Okay, starting now, starting this week. Okay, so make sure you write your mocks so that you can have strategies. You can ha you, you you must have attempt strategies. You must have rejection strategies. You must have, you know, there are three sections: quant, uh, DILR, and uh, you have verbal. You must have separate strategies like how many rounds would you take in each in these sections? Okay, how do you exactly which kind of questions would you leave and which kind of questions would you do at the start? Okay, so for example, in verbal, you'll probably have RCs towards the end or RCs somewhere in the middle. This all depends on the number of mocks you write. The more mocks you write, the better understanding of yourself you have. So you can get your strong and weak areas. If right mock, so strong and weak is going to be taken care of. Okay, if you do this practice every uh, regularly, all right. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot of videos, in fact, on tick tips that we have developed over the years. The famous concepts in CAT. Okay, for example, let's say if, uh, let's say if something like Fermat's last theorem. Okay, if you know Fermat's last theorem, you could easily you know get through a question in CAT in in, in probably 2011. All right. Uh, common errors. Common errors is basically in, in in grammar. Grammar, you make a lot of errors like you know punctuation errors. These kind of errors we're going to be taking care of, okay, in our videos in future. I'm going to discuss a few methods which I've developed over the years, like induction method, make your own problem method, and everything like that. And PassCat papers will solve the most beautiful questions in the PassCat papers across all sections. All right. So let's talk about one of the topic which is called rep unit. Okay. Uh, it's not a topic as such in the index that that you see in any books. Okay. It belongs to numbers, uh, basically. Uh, but not so touched upon a topic. All right. So let's say, for example, if I ask you one simple question of rep units, one, 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 repeated 37 times. Rep unit basically means repeating unit. So you can have one, 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 two, 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 two whatever. Okay. And uh, one, 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 one. Let's say I have somewhere around 200 times. And let's say I have the third one, 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 one. Let's say 243 times. Out of these three numbers, okay. There are, there's a 37 digit number, there's a 200 digit number, there's a 243 digit number, uh, precisely. Out of these three numbers, how many are primes? Okay, now this question was asked in ZAT in 2008, 2000, 2010-11, I guess, 10 or 11, just, you can just check it back. Okay, so this was like for 4 mark, and in that year, ZAT 4 marks would have got you around 75 percentile in, in the section. So one question can give you 75 percentile. So what if you know, like, you know, at least 10 of them like that, so you can easily get a 95 plus in any exam. All right. So that's precisely the point of these videos. All right. So let rep unit. Let's say how many of them are primes. Okay. So when you want to find out primes, I mean, you don't know. There's a huge number. All three are huge numbers. Okay. Uh, one is bigger than the other. So how do you exactly go? You, you don't know divisibility rules here. You do, cannot do anything about it. Okay. So there's one trick here, rep units. Okay. So keep in mind, all that you're going to do in rep units, one, one, one will be n times. All that you have to see is the n. Okay. If n is prime, the number is prime. So here, have a look. 37. Is 37 prime? Yes, it is. Okay, so definitely this number is a prime number. Okay, 200 is 200 prime, not at all. Okay, so that is a composite number. 243 is 243 a prime? Yes. What do you think? Not really, because again the addition is nine, which means a multiple of nine. Okay, so it is definitely a composite number. All right, so this, these two are composites. So only the first one is prime, and that would have fetched you four mark without like, and 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 the beauty here is the time you take. Okay, you'll probably take 10 seconds to 15 seconds maximum to solve such questions where you know the concepts of already okay uh, that you know the concepts of already sorry all right so that's how rep units function and that's how you're supposed to tackle these kind of things okay uh, so now let's say when, when you're talking one 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 n time so whenever you see n if n becomes prime the number becomes prime as a whole okay so let's take another example let's say you have a question a cube plus b cube is 125 or let's say I'll just complicate this 1728 okay so how many pairs of a and b are possible okay how many pairs of a and b are possible all right so let's say precisely you want to find out a and uh, like you know a and b so what do you do in such cases you have nothing you, you cannot do anything like you don't even you, you, you can't even use any formulas here because you have no idea about uh, a, uh, you know what is 3a square b or what is 3ab square 
or in this case you can't do anything about it but if you know something called as Fermat's last theorem all right Fermat's last theorem is a wonderful theorem that talks about one thing that you know any number raised to n plus any number raised to another n is don't worry about this okay I'm not I'm not a variable guy I'm, I'm not into variables okay I like numbers more than variables so I'm just giving in a generic form just in case if a few of you like the generic forms okay a raised to n plus b raised to n is not equal to c raised to n for n more than 2 what this means is for the people who are like me who like numbers more than variables okay have a look what this means is if your power let's say for example if I have square of 3 and a square of 4 I'll have a square of 5 that's fine because the power is still less than 2 or not more than 2 so something like you know obviously raised to 1 is very obvious 4 plus 7 is 11 raised to 1 raised to 1 raised to 1 okay but something like this 3 cube plus 4 cube or maybe like say 6 cube plus 8 cube cannot add to any other cube uh, alright or this is true for any other power as well so for example let's say if I have 2 raised to 4 plus 3 raised to 4 the answer cannot be anything raised to 4 okay this cannot be the answer so you're coming back to the question if a cube plus b cube is another cube it's not possible so the answer is the number of pairs they can assume is 0 okay again if you know the concept it's a 10 second okay so in our videos okay all the videos of ours be it on strategy be it on induction be it on common errors be it on famous concepts this precisely was kind of famous concepts the rep unit is a very famous concept and formats last year a very famous concept when it comes to cat exam uh, i mean cat examination you know for that matter as a purview all right so we can uh, we will be talking about in all our videos we'll be talking about these kind of things uh, like common errors that you have past cat papers and everything like that okay Stay tuned for more videos tomorrow. Have a nice day preparing. All the very best for your exams.